hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to share with you the process on how to create your pag-ibig mp2 account online and where and how you can pay your contribution online as well so if you're interested to know more please stay tuned So, bago tayo tuloy ang mag-proceed sa mismong process ng pag-open ng MP2 account online, konting info lang muna tayo regarding this MP2. So, MP2 or Modified Pag-ibig to Savings Program is a special savings facility with a 5-year maturity designed for pag-ibig fund members who wish to save more as it earns higher dividend niya compared sa Pag-ibig 1 Savings Program which is, eto yung kung employee ka, eto yung nilidedact sa sweldo natin ng 100 pesos plus 100 peso na employer share, so makes it a total of 200 peso na monthly contribution natin. This is open for active fund members as well as pensioners and retirees who were former Pag-ibig fund members regardless of age with at least an equivalent of 24 monthly savings sa Pag-ibig 1 nga. The minimum savings is 500 and wala po siyang maximum limit. You may save on a monthly basis, pwedeng once a year or a couple of times a year or just a one-time savings throughout the entire 5-year period. The dividend rate varies depending on the fund's performance but is higher than the regular pag-ibig savings program. Dividend is tax-free and is government-guaranteed. And there are two options kung paano natin pwedeng ma-receive yung ating dividend. Pwedeng upon the end of the 5-year maturity period or pwede din namang annually na i-deposit sa chosen bank account natin. And you can open another account at the end of your maturity period pag nakuha na natin yung nag-accumulate nating contribution plus the dividend. Or pwede rin namang mag-open kayo ng another MP2 account ng sabay-sabay. So, pwedeng multiple MP2 accounts at the same time. So, yun lang. Now, proceed na tayo sa mismong process. So, bali punta lang tayo sa pagibigfundservices.com and then, ito na yung lalabas na landing page. And then, punta lang tayo sa pinakababa and makikita na natin dyan yung MP2 enrollment system na button. Okay, click lang natin yan. And then, ayan, lalabas na tong um page na to, landing page na to. So, kailangan, kakailanganin natin dito yung pag-ibig MID number natin. Ito yung 12-digit na number. And then, yun, syempre, yung last name, first name, and date of birth. And then, kailangan na natin lagay yung code, itong CAPTCHA na to, dito sa space na to, and then, click lang natin yung submit. And then, ito na yung lalabas. Doon sa uh, left side, papakita lang dyan yung mga info natin. Ito yung ibang info natin dito. Ito yung huling, kung kailan yung huling update natin, kung ano man yung mga info na nando doon. Yun yung makikita natin dito. And then, on the right side, makikita lang natin dyan yung for confirmation natin. Um, the only difference is, meron na kasi akong existing na MP2 account. So, kaya ganito yung nakikita natin dyan na sabi, you already have an existing and modified pag-ibig to account, please continue to enroll a new account. Pero otherwise, kung wala akong existing na MP2 account, iba yung makikita natin dyan. Now, click lang natin tong continue button. And then, eto na yung lalabas na mga details. Kailangan natin ilagay dyan. At least, sabi nga dito, minimum is 500 pesos dyan sa desired monthly contribution. And then, preferred dividend payout. Ayan, meron dyan annually, choice na annually yun nga, and then 5-year end term, which is yung after na nga nung mismong 5-year maturity period. And then, mode of payment, pwedeng salary deduction for employees, pwede yan, over the counter. So, pwedeng sa pag-ibig branch ka magbayad, pwede rin namang sa mga other payment centers, and then through any accredited pag-ibig collecting partners. And then, source of funds. Ayan, pwede employment income, ayan, ayan yung mga choices, savings, deposits, property sale, sale of share, etc. And other income sources. Okay? And then, by clicking the submit button below, I hereby agree to be governed by the foregoing terms and conditions. Ano ba, prefer dividend payout mo? Ito kasi, I think irrevocable to. Uh, pwedeng annually, pwedeng 5-year end term, yung 
dividend payout. Pero, uh, based dun sa computation ni pag-ibig, mas malaki yung magiging dividend nyo kapag itong 5-year enter man pinili nyo as compared dun sa dividend, uh, dun sa annually. But then again, option nyo pa rin naman kung anong gusto nyo. So, halimbawa, lalagay ko yan, 5-year enter and then mode of payment. Dun ako sa any accredited pag collecting partners. Ayan. Kasi, ang goal nga natin is to make everything online. So, yan yung pipiliin natin. Plus, uh, at this point, hindi rin ako employed. I'm self-employed. I'm running a business. So, ito yung mas ideal sa akin. And then, source of funds. Ayan. Pili tayo. Dito tayo sa other income sources. And then, lam, lagay lang natin, mga business. Ayan. And then, click lang natin yung submit. Submit. Once na-clinic yung submit button sa previous page, ganito na yung lalabas. Uh, enrollment for modified pag-ibig 2. And by the way, once na makita nyo itong page na to, picture nyo na siya or kung may printer kayo, i-print nyo na kagad. And you may also opt to save it sa PDF file because hindi siya i-email sa nominated na email address natin kahit na nakasave pa yan sa inyong pag-ibig 1 account. Hindi kayo makaka-receive ng email and hindi na kayo magkakaroon ulit ng chance na makita pa itong form na to. Kaya, yun nga, i-grab nyo na yung opportunity na, na yun, picturean nyo na or i-print nyo na siya. Okay, um, on the upper left side, meron dyang instruction, sabi, print and submit a copy of this form to your employer to facilitate salary deduction for this account. Why? Kasi itong form na to, Pwede nyo siyang submit sa employer nyo if you are employed. Otherwise, if you are self-employed, may business ka or professional ka or OFW ka, itong form na to is for your reference na lang, for personal reference na lang siya. Okay. On the upper right side, makikita nyo naman dyan yung 12-digit na MP2 account number. So, yan yung gagamitin nyo pag nagbayad kayo sa pag-ibig branch or sa online or sa kahit sa ang payment center na accredited ng pag-ibig. And then, dito sa kasunod na section, papakita lang naman dyan yung details like pag-ibig MID number, yung name nyo, yung home address nyo, date of birth, team number, monthly income, home telephone number, mobile phone number, and email address. Tapos dito sa kasunod na section, nandiyan lang i-display yung employer name, Tapos, parang conforme nyo to, so mag-sign kayo sa dyan. Siyempre, kayo yan, and then yung authorized representative dito. And then, eto yung amount na ninominate nyo kung magkano yung magiging monthly deduction nyo or monthly contribution. And then, sa baba, terms and conditions lang naman yan. Same na rin yan sa diniscuss ko kanina regarding sa MP2. Okay, so that's it for the process of creating the MP2 account. So, next um, topic na natin is the payment online. One way to pay your pag-ibig MP2 contribution is via the pag-ibig website mismo. So, punta lang tayo sa pagibigfundservices.com and then sa pinakababang part, andyan yung online payment facility. Click lang natin yan. And then, i-display niya na to. So, under sa program type, piliin lang natin yung MP2 savings. And then, para matik natin to, yan, ayaw kasi niya kahit i-click nyo ng, ng mouse, ayaw niya. So, balik tayo dito sa MP2 savings. Click natin yung tab. Ayan. So, makita nyo naka-highlight na siya. And then, click natin yung space bar. Ayan. Tapos, para pumunta tayo sa overseas, arrow down lang yan, or para bumalik, arrow up lang. And then, once na finiliin na natin yung modified pag-ibig to account number and click natin yung verify, i-auto-fill na yung member's name and yung savings amount, which is yung ninominate natin nung nag-enroll tayo ng MP2 account. So, ayan, sabi ko nga, once na nilagay na natin yung MP2 account number natin at finerify natin yan, di-display na niya yung member's name and yung savings amount natin na ninominate. But, we can actually change that 
Kung halimbawa, meron kang extra, pwede natin gawin 10,000 yan or 50,000 kung magkano man yung extra money mo. And then, ang earliest na pwede natin ilagay sa period covered from is yung previous month lang. So, halimbawa ngayon, I'm doing this March 26. So, ang earliest na pwede natin ilagay dyan is February lang. And then, yung period covered duration, halimbawa, two ma gawin natin February and then two months. So, Ayan, nag-automatic na siyang binago na niya yung period covered to base dito sa duration and yung kung kailan tayo nagsimula na period. And then, kung makikita nyo yung amount due naging 100,000 kasi nga ginawa ko itong 50,000. So, nag-auto-compute na siya. So, idea lang naman yan, no? Go lang yan. Pero, syempre, wala tayong ganyang extra for now. And then, sa convenience fee, ang laki 1,750. Bakit? Kasi 1.75% daw ng amount na to, yun yung convenience fee. And it goes to the payment gateway. So, hindi to kay pag-ibig na pupunta. So, medyo hindi siya practical, ba diba, ng konti. Well, actually, hindi talaga practical. Kung ganyan kalaki yung mababawa sa atin. Anyway, balik na muna natin to Gawin ulit natin na 1,000. At baka ma, ma, magtuloy-tuloy, wala akong ganyang, ganung pera. Ayan, tapos one month lang. Ano bang ginawa ko? Parang ginawa ko January, mali. Anyway, so ayan, pag 1,750 lang yung convenience fee, that makes the total na 1,750. And then, meron, meron lang mga need tayong i-fill in pa dito sa baba. Sabi, I want to receive payment confirmation via SMS or I want to receive payment confirmation via email. You can click both if you are here lang sa Philippines, but if OFW ka, parang hindi practical ata na ilagay mo yung, yung overseas mobile number mo, baka hindi ka lang rin makareceive. So, um, eto siguro yung applicable lang for overseas, for OFWs. So, ayan. Dahil local ako, ikiklik ko yan pareho. And if fill in ko lang siya, ko rin siya pareho. And then, dito sa baba, ilagay lang natin yung CAPTCHA. And then, click natin itong I agree with the terms and conditions na button dyan. And then, click lang natin yung next. So, ito na nga yung lalabas. So, confirmation page lang siya. Check lang natin kung meron pa tayong for correction. So, kapag meron, click lang natin yung back button. Otherwise, kung okay na tayo dyan sa nakikita natin, click lang natin yung proceed. And then, ito na nga yung lalabas. Meron dyang option na to pay via PayMaya or you can use your credit or debit card or QR code if you have one. Tapos, dito sa right side, makikita natin yung amount which is 1,750 inclusive of the 1.75% na convenience fee if using this payment method, no? So, sa card details, I would suggest gamitin na natin yung debit card natin or yung ATM natin meaning kung ano lang yung pera talaga natin na extra, yun lang yung gamitin natin huwag tayong gumamit ng credit card kasi, yes, pwedeng gumita yung pera natin for uh, in 5 years, pero kumusta naman yung magiging finance charge nyan sa ating credit card, di ba? Merong 3.25%, merong 3.5%, yung iba 4% pa. So, unless na lang ginagamit natin yung credit card na pambayad para magamit lang natin, meron lang tayong makapag-accumulate tayo ng points. Now, hindi na ako magpo-proceed dito because wala akong plano na magbayad ng 1750 for a 1000 na contribution. Kasi, I have another means naman para magbayad ng hindi ganyang kalaki yung ikakalta sa akin. Okay, so, proceed tayo sa next na payment option. So, another way to pay nga is via GCash naman. So, dito sa GCash, napakasimple lang ng, gawi, ng kailangan natin gawin. Pero, pero syempre, kailangan merong laman yung ating GCash. And then, so, nakikita nyo, 3.85 lang. Kulang na kulang yan. Magkakash in ako later. So, yung process is, punta lang tayo sa pay bills. And then, click natin yung government. Tapos, andyan yung pag-ibig. And then, i-display nyo na to. So, un sa under sa type, click lang natin yung MP2 savings. And then, lagay natin yung 12-digit na MP2 account number dyan. Amount, yan, bawa, sample, 1,000. 
period covered from halimbawa March, March to April. Actually, kahit anong date yan. The next screen will show yung confirmation page lang. So, for confirmation lang. And then, makikita nyo na doon mayroong button ng confirm. But then, again, hindi ko siya itutuloy kasi kung nakita nyo, wala pang laman yung GCash ko. Kailangan ko pang mag -cashing. Okay, so that's it for the second payment option. So, proceed na tayo sa third payment option. So, last na payment option na may share ko sa inyo on how and where to pay your MP2 pag-ibig account online is through Metrobank Online. Okay, so this is assuming na meron kayong Metrobank account and nakapag-enroll na kayo sa kanilang website. Meron na kayong online account, okay? So, by the way, guys, na-check ko na rin yung ibang bank accounts na meron ako like BDO, BPI, and East West and wala silang wala sa biller nila yung pag-ibig. So, si Metrobank lang so far yung nakita ko na merong biller na pag-ibig. Okay, so for the process, punta lang tayo dito sa pay bills. And then, under ng register a new biller, yan. Click lang natin sa category, piliin natin yung government. And then, sa biller, ayan, i-display niya. Iilan lang yung meron dyan. So, andyan yung pag-ibig fund. And then, lagay lang natin yung subscriber account number, reference. Dito sa reference number, alphanumeric ito. So, pwedeng lagay lang natin dyan is March 2020. And then, phone number, I think essential lang ito for you, for you to receive yung parang confirmation or notification na pag nagbayad na kayo dito. Okay? And then, once na ma-fill in nyo yung mga details na yan, click nyo lang yung continue. So, ayan na, ganito na yung makikita nyo kapag naka-enroll na itong inyong pag-ibig account number nga. Ayan, so, ano na naman to, parang confirmation lang, or transaction acknowledgement nga. Para magbayad, click lang ulit natin yung pay bills, and then under doon sa pay bills na tab, katabi ng register or no biller, makikita na natin lahat ng mga naka-register natin na billers. So, ano dyan sa baba yung pag-ibig fund And then, dito sa enter amount na portion na field, lagay natin yung amount na babayaran natin. And then, dun sa payment type, you can choose either immediate or scheduled. So, pwede nyo siyang gawing scheduled kung gusto nyo monthly, naka-set naka up na siya, na automatic na siyang magde-deduct sa ating Metro Bank account, tapos ihuhulog na kay pag-ibig. Or, one time, kung gusto nyo kayo lang yung magse-set kung kailan nyo gustong magbayad. Okay, and then once okay na kayo dyan, click nyo lang yung continue. So, the next page na makikita natin is the transaction confirmation. So, syempre, check lang natin yung mga details kung okay na tayo. Proceed na tayo. Co-confirm na natin yan. But only after na ma-type natin yung one-time password na marireceive natin via dun sa registered mobile number dito sa account natin na to. And that's it guys. Yun yung mga tatlong online payment option na na-share ko. Una, yung through pag-ibig website, pangalawa through GCash app, and pangatlo through Metrobank online. Now, for GCash app, pwede nyo po siyang i-download lang. Hindi po kailangan na Globe or TM yung inyong mobile number para magamit nyo yung GCash app. Kahit ano pong network, pwede nyo po siyang gamitin. And yung pag-cash in, pwede nyo po yung pwede po kayong mag-enroll ng inyong mga bank accounts para, halimbawa, kung payroll account man yan or yung gagamitin nyo is online, ayaw nyo na na magka-cash in via 7-11, ganyan. So, hassle-free, pwedeng-pwede po kayong mag-enroll ng mga ATM accounts nyo online. Okay? So, if may may dadagdag pa kayo sa uh, mga online payment options, comment nyo lang sa baba para makatulong sa iba pa nating mga viewers. And if you have any questions regarding MP2 na pwede nating masagutan later in our later videos. Comment nyo lang po sa baba and we will try to answer them sa mga susunod nga nating videos. And sa mga hindi pa po nakaka-subscribe sa channel ko, please hit the subscribe button yung below and i-click nyo na rin yung notification bell para updated kayo whenever I upload a new video. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching.